made these cereals really? What are they made of? And how do they get to the store? Most breakfast cereal is corn, and that's grown here by a farmer. The farmer has borrowed money from a bank to buy machinery and seeds. To pay back the loan, the farmer must sell the corn she's growing. So she harvests and ships the corn to the factory that wants to buy it. The truck belongs to a transportation company that's being paid to transport the corn. So far, the corn is raw material that needs processing before it's something Michael might want for breakfast. The raw material needs to be refined into breakfast cereal. When the corn is refined, it's also worth more than the raw material and can be sold at a higher price. The farmer grows or produces corn, and the factory produces cereals, so they are both producers. But what about the truck driver? Is he producing something? Yes, he is, but not something you can put in a box and sell. Transport is not goods, it's a service. To be able to make cereal, both goods and services are needed, like corn and transport. In the factory, there are machines and employees working to refine the corn into cereal. It costs money to buy the machines and pay the salaries, but since the cereal is sold at a higher price than corn, the factory can get paid for its effort and those working there can get paid too. In the factory, they put the cereal in the box. Hmm, so somewhere else there must be a factory making cereal boxes from paper. And paper is made from pulp that is made from trees. So somewhere, someone has cut down a tree and transported it to a pulp factory and... The package has to look good for Michael want to buy this specific cereal and not some other. So there must be someone working with designing the cereal box and a print shop printing the text and images on it. And the cereal is ready to be shipped off to the shop. But wait a minute. Cereals contain more things, salt and sugar. Where do they come from? Someone must grow the sugar and transport it, and then the salt. Well, anyway, now the cereal is in the shop. When Michael pays for the cereal, he also pays part of the salary of everyone on the farm, in the truck, in the factory, and in the shop, and in the print shop and the design agency, and the sugar farmer, and whoever it was arranging that salt. Just imagine a box of cereal being so complicated to produce. How can anyone then produce something really tricky like a toaster? Who keeps track of this entire super complex web of different producers, making sure they all get their share of the money that Michael is paying? In fact, that's nobody. Really, nobody keeps track of the whole process. Every participant, every company keeps track of the bit closest to themselves. But there's no one responsible for keeping track of the entire cereal production process, from corn, timber and sugar field to the complete box of cereals. Michael buys and eats the cereals. He consumes them. Michael and all the other cereal eaters are consumers. Whenever we consume something, we influence a whole range of interconnected producers of goods and services. You can be almost certain that some of them are in other countries, and that none of them is aware of all the others. Bon appétit, says the farmer, and the truck driver, and all the others. Music